Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to continue our Yang Cheng Fu 13 original postures and go to the next movement, which is the push. And I'd like to talk a little bit about that first because it's something that, even though I've talked about it on uh, on this program in the past, I like to go over it again, get it really take a a, a deeper look at uh, what's going on there because I, I believe that um, it's one of the more misunderstood of the movements in the form. Like actually, what's going on there? And uh, part of it comes from the name push, which is, you know, kind of evokes images of just shoving. And uh, it's not at all like that at all. And in fact, if you start to, if you think in terms of pushing and, and what that actually brings out in your body, you know, there is a an effort, counter effort that gets, that kicks in whenever you do that, whenever you have that muscular contraction, whenever you're, you're, uh, you're pushing out, there's also muscles that are pulling back. And um, so, you know, Master, you know, Chen used to say, you know, the push of no push. That was his way of talking about it. It's a kind of a cryptic way of, of expressing, but it's like, you're not really pushing. We call it push, but we're not really pushing here. And, um, the problem that comes up with with the push ordinarily is that it's done as a as a mechanical muscular activity. That is where where you know whatever incorrectly done, there's a lot of crude muscular force that gets involved, and that's because the way that that it's ordinarily taught and done, and and oftentimes not really mentioned at all how you're going about this how to get the energy of it so it's uh you it creates this uh uh a situation where it's very difficult to actually feel the 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 jin the the internal power that that is used there the um the chinese term the energy for the energy that we we're addressing in the push posture is on a n on jin and it's not really a push. It's it's more of a kind of a, a circular movement, which we'll get into in a bit. I'm going to show you first how to how I did it for a long time, and I say a lot of people do it now, and that and which I think is kind of misses the the whole point of of, of the gin of it. So yeah, we're going from let's say we're going from. From a from the press posture we did last week, and we go back, and then we pushing, and then we push, launch up with the leg, we press down with the legs, and then push forward like that. And and so what happens here is, is we're getting this. It's the way that you know we would ordinarily think of of doing anything that require a lot of a lot of force. That is, we're using the muscles of the legs to push away from the earth, and then using the muscles in the arms to push away from the from the body and using those you know in in sequence to create a uh, a linear progression of of force the uh, the problem with that whenever i push away i am disconnecting myself from my root so that so, so automatically as soon as i do this I'm disconnecting myself from my root. I'm pushing away from the earth, so I'm severing my root connection. This is not to say that there are not ways of being rooted and and use your muscles. There are, but um, it's not the most efficient way of going about it. So the uh, so the other thing is that anytime we're using this much muscular force, then we are constricting the flow of energy. And so we're not really getting that that whole body energetic connection that we we treasure so much in this uh, in the Taiji form. So we're going like this. If we if we launch forward like that, there's a it's more of a shove, and there's a uh, you can see from the from the side if I'm going if I'm going like this and I'm going and I'm pushing like that, it uh, 
it's tough to remain rooted. You can get some muscular power from that, and and I did for for a long time. But it's not what not the effortless power that we're looking for from from the Tai Chi form. So the um, um, so what we're trying to do is to create this other other energy, and that is it's coming from the internal compression rather than than a launching a muscular contraction that launches the body and creates momentum. So it uh, the uh, the way we do that is by actually going down as we reach out. We actually re sink. We get sung. The sung is is releasing down into the support of your intrinsic structure, which then allows you to connect up to the big chi, allows the energy of the earth to rise up, the energy of the heavens to come down through. And so you're you're creating this, this flow of, of, of energy that is coming not from your your own particular body mind, but it's coming from the big chi. That is your connection to a much bigger energetic circuit. And you know, it's something I've I've demonstrated, you know, thousands of times over the years, but it's a uh, it's it's uncanny how much more powerful it is whenever you use internal power than it is when you're using straight muscular force. And uh, it's but it, the the biggest challenge is to overcome the habits we have and the expectations we have built into you know the the way we've been moving for forever. And so getting it so that we're able to really trust that just just extending it like this and rather than pushing away is is going to create a, a big effect. So whenever we think of push, it's actually better to substitute the term reach. And we use reach a lot, you know, in our in these classes, but the, the idea of reaching is you're extending to connect to something. You know, I'm reaching and touching this screen here. And it, uh, so it's a, uh, it's, you know, I'm, I'm reaching to connect. So if, I, if I'm reaching for my partner, you know, then there's, it's, there, is a, there is a desire to meet, to connect with, with my partner. Whereas a push implies a, a shoving away. That is, and there's an intention there to get rid of whoever it is that, you know, is on the opposite at the end of my hands. And so the ideal here is that you're not trying to push away. You're just extending to, to make contact. And as a uh, byproduct of that reaching and that internal connection, then you're able to create a big effect. And if your partner is not able to handle that much energy, then they go backwards and uh, everybody's happy. So uh, the um, so we're gonna play around with the uh, with this and uh, uh, the sinking, the reaching. Those are the two primary ideas that we get out of out of the push and the. A lot of it is just you actually have to do it, you know, a lot in order to be able to actually, you know, get that feedback to actually convince your your body that it's going to work. Because even if your 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 mind says, "Yeah, yeah, this 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 makes sense," Rick says something here that's pretty sensible. If you don't try it and you don't do it, then you're going to get resistance at a pre-conscious level in your own body that is you're going to say i'm reaching but but uh, then there's a there's a tension that comes in a primitive stress response kicks in that is beyond your control it has to do with the the way your brain works particularly your amygdala 
And as soon as it says, you know, that that stress response kicks in, it's like, you know, it shifts into a whole different part of your brain. So what we want to do is, is be able to get to get coherent enough so that whenever we're doing this, that we're not actually going into the stress response directly. That's that. So we're able to to engage the other higher functions of the brain while we're while we're doing this and be able to place an intention cleanly and, and clearly without a lot of internal resistance. So let's uh, stand up. We'll uh, we'll do a little uh, qigong to kind of prime the pump for this. And then uh, we'll uh, do the the Yang Cheng Fu form and then we'll do we'll look at the push directly. So first, let's get our three pillars established. Begin by sinking into your the balls of your feet and unlock the knees. Set the knees nice and relaxed. And feel yourself sinking down, down, down. Feel, feel your body attracted by the earth. Uh, feel that yin that we've been cultivating for the last few weeks. And at the same time, reach up with the crown of your head and tuck in your chin. Open the jade pillow gate and allow the energy to move along your spinal cord into your brain. Feel that coming and going of energy along your spinal cord, connecting up your whole body. And turn, just kind of release your, your hip joints, get nice and sung in your quad. Reach out with your elbows and open your shoulder joints. Point and reach with your index fingers. And feel your fingertips, feel your, your fingernails. And just allow yourself to sink into your into your feet, and while at the same time reaching up with the crown of the head. So we're connecting up to the big chi now. Feel the yin chi of the earth rising like sap into your body, and feel the yang chi of the heavens radiating downward through the through the the top of your head and just filling up your body so you have this yin yang flow that is constant and and it's constantly replenishing you you know sink into the balls of your feet and reach with your wrists relax your fingers let the fingers hang and bend your wrists and just reach out just feel that just come up just about belt high and just feel the heaviness of your arms and reach out with the fingers reach out with your elbows and open up between your shoulder blades feel the arms connected and sink in your heels reach down with your elbows Press down with your hands, bend the wrists a little bit, and just hold that. Feel your hands pressing down on the space the, you know, below them. And feel the energy in your hands as, you're, as you hold that position. Now go into the balls of your feet and reach for the wrists. Look a little higher this time, up to chest height. 
Feel the heaviness of the arms. Reach for the elbows. Open your back. Open your shoulders. Reach for the fingers. Reach for the crown of your head. Feel the expansiveness. Feel the young, the young energy that's filling up right now. The expansive energy. Now sink in your heels. Reach down with your elbows. Press down with your hands. Sink. Everything's sinking down except for the crown. It's still reaching up. And feel that yin. Take it to the balls of your feet. Set the knees. Reach with the wrists. Let the fingers hang. Reaching up. A little higher up to shoulder height, reach out with the fingers. Open the back. Feel that expansion. Bring your body forward as your hands come back. And sink. Your hands come down. Feel everything sinking down, pressing down, feeling the resistance of the space under your hands. Feel the tingling, pulsing in your hands and your palms. Sink back as you reach forward with your wrists and your fingers, your body's retreating, moving away from your hands. Sink as your hands come back, raising your wrists, sink your body sinks and then as you're pressing down, come up and still maintaining contact with the, with the floor. And rotate your palms up. You are sinking as your hands come up. Gathering, reach out, open your back and come forward body coming forward as your hands come come in and then press down and rise as you press down so you feel that uh, we're just working these poles in opposition right now just getting familiar with with that okay sink into your heels and reach retreat Take it to the balls, your, your body goes down as the hands come up. Your body comes up as your hands go down. Yeah. Take it to the balls of your feet, reach up to your wrists. Open, extend, and just hold that. Open your shoulder blades, feel your back, feel the elbows reaching out, your wrists reaching out. Your arms are very relaxed, very heavy, using the least amount of muscular tension you can to hold that shape. And sink into your heels and bring your hands in closer. And feel the energy sinking down, very yin. And sink, hands press down. Yeah. 
Just step in. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Gather the energy, yang, yang, under the balls of your feet, and then exhale into the heels, then press down and throw it all away. Relax a moment. Dissolve into the emptiness. Allow your body to disappear. Throw away the chi, throw away your body, the mind, everything. Just dissolve into the emptiness. Okay, let's do the uh, Yang Cheng Fu form now and uh, okay. go through the whole thing. I'll turn my back to you. Hold on. You did. Nice and slow.
Great. So let's take a look at the uh, at the push. So we're going from the press, sinking into the back leg, sinking into the front leg, and then reaching out. Okay, so do it this way. Let's um let's take it from the press. So what what what's going on here? We're going we're going from this from this point here. So remember as we we talked last week, the press being the outside hand being the yin hand, that is it's it's pulling in toward the body, whereas the left hand is meeting the right and it's going out. So we have these two opposing poles. And so we're we're doing this where this these two poles are meeting and they're creating a continuous circuit throughout the body that creates a a, a whole body energetic connection. And the you feel that you set the knee, right? You, I'm going to set the knee so you're kind of uh, you're you're setting settling down into that so you're releasing down so even as this energy is going out that way the the yin impulse is going down down so that establishes that very firm yin connection with the earth that's where we left the the uh, the press so now to Going from there, we want to let's just uh, take a look what's happening with the with the body now. So we want to feel the heel of the back foot, the left foot in this case. We set the knee, and then ah, we kind of sit down into that back leg. But notice what I'm not doing is this: I'm not rocking backward. I'm just I'm going from right leg is supporting me. The left leg is supporting me. I'm just sitting down. My body is hardly moving at all, you know, in, in the forward back uh, uh, position. It's just settling down into that back leg. It's as if I'm kind of kind of relaxing here and kind of kind of hanging out in, on my uh, on my stool, right? And uh, so that just I'm releasing the quad, settling down into that back leg. And so that, that creates this, this yin impulse there with my lower body. So what's happening with my, my arms now, as I do that, I'm sinking into that back leg. And notice I'm not turning. I'm not, like oftentimes in these movements, I'll, you will see me, you know, I'll be spiraling down this way or that, this way. No, I'm going straight down in, I'm compressing into my my back leg, my claw there, and just sitting down into that. So uh, the, the, it's creating compression, and rather than pushing away from the earth, I'm actually, uh, I'm dropping down into it. So I'm sinking into my uh, connective tissue system, and my muscles are actually not working terribly hard. It's just I'm really relying on the connective tissue system to do the work for me. And so what's happening with my hands, as I sit down there, I separate my hands and reach up with my wrists. So as I sit down into that back leg, I reach up with my wrists. Notice my elbows are, are well below my wrists at this point. So I'm reaching up with the wrists. So I've gone from here, which is a very young posture, to now, oh, I'm getting, my body is very yin. Even though my arms are rising, there, there is the, the complementary small yang of, the, of, of this particular part of the movement. The big yin is, is the, the body sinking. So here I'm, I'm, big yin is sinking. My arms are very very soft. I'm re reaching up with my wrists as I sink down. So we have these poles in opposition again. We're dropping down into the into the base and simultaneously reaching up with the wrists. 
So if you just pause there and just feel into that, you can feel that there is a chi flow that, that occurs. And it may not even be very comfortable when you first feel into it because there's like, there's, you know, um, a competition happening there with your energy. There is a, ah, uh, going down and going up at the same time. But so, oh, so the, we sink down and the arms come back. So we're pulling, and this is like you're, you've got a big, like a big ball, a big beach ball, right? And you're, you kind of, you're pulling down and you're sitting down and then, oh, we're gonna reach down with the elbows and press this beach ball down into the water. We're kind of, oh, okay, and just feel the resistance of the beach ball that you're sinking down, you're pressing down into the water with the, with the ball. We're here, we sink into that left leg, left heel, reach up with the wrists, reach down with the elbows and sink. This is the very yin movement here. This actually is one ah, fluid movement as we go from, from the press down all the way down to here. So just feel into that yin. You're still reaching up with the crown of your head, but everything else is yin. Everything else is being attracted by the earth and feel that earth chi. There's earth chi and there's metal chi. There's a, we're going here. It's like, oh, this is metal chi. It's pressing down. It's dropping down and earth chi is, is creating this form and stabilizing it. So we're going down, down, down. There's also water in this. The water is slosh, it's just moving, moving down, down. And we're, we're here. So we're gathering at this point. We're in this yin posture and we're in the left leg, the back leg, and everything is very down, very yin. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the heel of the, of the right foot. Just feel that before you do anything, before you try to move, you wanna just establish that contact. So right now you're feeling both the left heel and the right heel. And so we have this, this, there's communication occurring there at your base, at your root. Okay, there's, we're, there's a, they're gonna pass the baton here in a moment, but right now the first thing you wanna do is alert the right heel that, hey buddy, we're coming, we're coming. Prepare for this. So now we're going to feel that heel. Now we're gonna push forward with the right knee without loading it up. So the fourth and the, the you're, you're back here, you're sinking it, you, you push forward with the right knee until it's just a little bit forward of vertical, right? It's not back here, not out here. It's just a little forward of vertical. This will give you the maximum support you, that you want to get from, uh, from your posture in this, uh, in this move. It allows you to really stabilize your, your in, the, in the yin when you do that. So here we are, we're, we're pressing, sinking to the left heel. Reach, open your arms, and ah, the hands come back and then sink, and the hands press down. Notice my body is, is vertical, right? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling my central equilibrium here, and you're pressing down. Loading up here, feel the heel of the right foot. So you feel the heel of the right foot. You push the right knee forward. So you're getting this, that near vertical position there. Your, your hands are like this. And now you go to the ball of your right foot. And we're going to activate the yang impulse here now. And as we do that, we sink even more into that right leg. But notice I'm not dropping down. I'm not crouching down. I'm not pushing my knee forward. I'm just 
Ha, just releasing, feeling sung as I, I'm feeling sung as I reach out with my fingers. Actually, I'm reaching out with my wrists. And then when I get out there, then I reach with my fingers and open up. So for here, do the heel of the left foot. Separate the hand, reach up, sink into that left heel. Hands come back, sink, reach down with the elbows, press down with the hands. Ah, till you get down to about belt high. Feel that loading up there. Feel the heel of the right foot. Push your right knee forward. Sink into that right leg. Ah, and reach forward with your fingers. And so this gives you the push. So you're reaching. You're not pushing anything away. You're actually extending to contact. Now, what makes this work and delivers the goods here is, you know, two things that pervade the whole form. That is whole body energetic connection, energetic coherence. So you get that everything is full. So that is, you know, the one of the, you know, the two primary things is there's one chi throughout, and then the whole body is connected throughout. So the other thing is tensegrity. So here we are. We we're reaching out, and that reaching, particularly when you feel those fingers there, it's like there is, it alerts the connective tissue system throughout the whole body, boom, and it creates this supple tensile strength that goes through the whole body that is, um, that, that allows the muscles to let go, to, to, to release, and so you're creating this this form. Even though your muscles are are very relaxed, you're creating this form by using your connective tissue system. So when that happens here, as I'm reaching out and I'm sinking, all this chi is coming up through, and the whole body is connected. It's like a like a big uh, fire hose that is uh, that is uh, gushing forth. So uh, you're allowing the big chi to come, come through your body and out, out your hands, and you're using your tensegrity to make sure that the, the pipeline is, is continuous. And if you don't have the tensegrity, then there's a tendency to just collapse everything, and you don't want that. You want to be able to, oh, you're reaching out, so that there is a definite intention there to extend to go out and uh, uh, touch. So not push away, but you want to reach out and touch, okay? And so if we, uh, if we look at this as a continuous thing, you'll see that what's happening here is going like this, down and up, boom. So it creates this very watery effect. So Anjin is a very watery energy. It's like whoosh. And it uh, it you're circulating the water through and then and it goes out and it's like it shoots out like a fire hose. So we're going we're, we're going down and down and down and reach. So the the while hip joints, the legs, they get sung, and then a little more sung, and then a little more sung. And so you're bypassing that, that ancient principle of uh, push away to, to get your to get your power. You're working very contrary to expectation contrary to everything that that you might have learned up to this point. You know, so I said, oh no, so we go boom. Ah. So the uh, it creates that. So we're going with sink into the 
left heel, wrist come up, you reach, sink, hands come down, elbows come down, hands come down, pressing down, compressing, and sink into the right heel, and set the right knee, and then feel the right ball, and sink as you reach out. So just, just, just do that with me, just you're sinking down and reaching. And this is the uh, this is where the the action is, and the um, so all the all of this stuff is secondary to the this final thing, which you can actually do from from a static posture. That is, ah, sink and reach, sink and reach. Sink and reach. Boom. So that that onion is can be a very small chin. It can be something just you can you can do it with just a a little flick of the wrist, and you can create that same power once you get familiar with with the uh, with the flow. Once you get familiar with this, so like everything else, we. We do it big so that we can then do it small, right? We do it, ah, so that we can just kind of took and create this, create a big effect. Once we are familiar with that, that fullness that comes with the, with doing the whole movement. So let's just do the, uh, just the, let's do the last few movements I just kind of get the get the feel that we're going to go from uh, uh, let's say from from ward off into roll back, right? So we start with the ward off with the right arm, and we sink into the right leg and reach. Sink into the left heel. Sink, and then left ball and turn. Reach. And feel that extension there. You're sinking into your legs. Your, your, the yin flow there, particularly your left leg. Your left leg is doing the, it's the substantial leg is doing the work. And then we feel the left heel, set the left knee, and sink. And as we sink, the wrists come up. So we're feeling that, that those poles in opposition. We're priming a pump here. We're going to the right heel. Set the right knee and spiral down to the left. We're loading up that left, that right claw, spiraling down to the left. And now we're going to turn into the ball of the right foot and turn and reach with that left hand. The right hand is compressing in. The left hand is reaching out. Reach out with your elbows and open. You want to have your back leg almost straight and your, your body kind of tilted forward. Now go into your left heel and separate, sink. Your hands come up, sink. Hands press down into your right heel. Set the right knee, sink. And reach. And that would be your, that's your push. Okay, so thank you. Let's uh, please have a seat. Let's see if there's any, any thoughts on this. How was that? Good, 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 good. Okay, good. Uh, any thoughts you want to share? Maybe somebody uh, who's actually felt what that feels like uh, to be on the receiving end of of that of that whoosh. You know, maybe you could share some thoughts on that too. Jonathan. 
Well, it, you know, you introduced this actually in uh, the Chen form like three decades ago. That it, it, it is a radical concept. I remember at the time, I think I still feel the same way about it. It's like going from mechanical to vegetable in the sense of being like a tree. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's, an, it's a really much different paradigm of what you're doing in terms of the human body to be a machine or to be something, roots going down, branches going out. Mm, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a, it does, and, and, and it, it does very much feel like that. Like, you know, I know rooting and all of that, but I mean, it's, it, 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 it is that to me. It's going from mechanical to, to vegetable in that way. Right. So it's a, it's a living system. Right. A living system. Right. From a dead system right. to a living system. Rather than right. a bunch of pulleys and levers, it's a, it's a, a living organic system. Right. That's yeah. a good, that's a good description. Yes. Yeah. And what does that feel like whenever you get, uh, when you when you're on the receiving end of that, you've 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 felt it before. Can you well, describe I mean, it to, I mean, people it, to me? It's of, connecting uh, up. It, it it it's 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 connecting instead of doing in parts. Boom boom push push. Everything's feeling. You know, roots are going down, branches going out, and there's no break. That's what it is to be part of a living system. Right. You know, you're not. You're in it whether you're going in, closing, or or opening up. Right. But it's it's it's. If it were to stop, it would be dead. It would be like cutting the root of the tree or something. Good. Good. Nick. Yeah, well, it, it, to put it slightly differently, the subjective experience of it is less abrupt. It's it's kind of soft um, and 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 it doesn't feel as as jarring or um, harsh. Right. It, it it's uh it welcomes you into movement. Right. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. 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 Nice. And when you move, you feel good. You know, it's like, oh, 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 I'm going this way. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, it has a way of uprooting you that seems irresistible. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, whoa, what's what's going on here? Even in slow motion, it's like it's like what you know, you're you're uh, on a pontoon boat and you're being lifted, you know, yeah. by the water. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, that's the oh, 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 you know, it's like you thought you were rooted and then whoop whoop whoop, you're you're not anymore. Right. It's a yeah. fun ride. <laughs> it's a fun ride, yes. <laughs> Scott. Um, so yeah, as Jonathan said, this this might have been the first move that you really went into depth with when we started with you guys when we started thirty years ago. So I thought I had this one. I mean, I did have this one pretty well, but that was a whole nother level. Um, I definitely got more out of it. That was um, I. The I feel that I seriously, I, you know, I definitely feel the wave. And when you know, when somebody does it does it to you, it's like somebody knocked the fire hydrant over underneath you. It's that's that's the way it feels to me. It's just like does does you've you've gotten you're you're standing on water. You're you're on water. There's no way. You you know, there's nothing to root to because you just there's just water under you. That's the way that's the way I felt when it's been done to me. Cool. Um and when when while we were practicing this and you know you had us doing you know one moving and stopping one moving and stopping, and I'm like Jesus, it's like trying to hold the ocean back with a bucket, because I just wanted to keep going. It just the energy didn't want to stop. It was so, it's like oh come on, Rick, come on, stop making me stand there. Come on, let's move, let's move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, but you know it kind of adds to the energy. Whenever you, <laughs> it, kind of, it, it kind of does. You jam it up like that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. That's a good analogy. Is that it's yeah, you're you're damming it up, and you know when you dam it up, it's getting bigger behind the dam, right? So you right. Get more. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm not in a rush. Cool, cool. Mm. Valerie, well, I can certainly recommend flying across the country and then taking a class like this. There's there's no tension, right? So the amount of energy that I felt being issued while I'm sinking, because 
I don't have that muscular tension to get in the way because my body's just really tired and it's down there. And the amount of energy that I felt was just fantastic. Mm. I felt like <clears throat> those people that I pushed with, including yourself, or just get, receiving that kind of push years ago, it's like, I was them. I was you guys. I was doing it. it and, and I would have glad, just like then, I would have gladly received it and been flying on my butt on the floor, just laughing, just going, do it again, do it again. <laughs> it's so unexpected whenever you, you what? <laughs> yeah. I looked, over, I looked over at her at one point and it was like a picture that I've seen of any master. She just looked like, holy crap. <laughs> I'm not messing with her right now. It was really impressive. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> great. Cool. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, great. So, yes. There we go. So, uh, thank you all so much. Let's uh, let's do this again. Uh, thank you, producer. Hey, uh, thanks, Maria. Love you, Maria. Okay, hey. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Right. See you soon. Bye-bye.